Hi everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor Software Program. In today's video, I'd like to look at a trade we were looking at on the NQ, um, that's the NASDAQ E-mini uh, yesterday <coughs> in our training webinar, and it basically highlights uh, all what we're about at MT Predictor. In other words, we're looking to trade just the most obvious and easiest uh, to spot uh, trade setups. So let's have a look at the NQ. Uh, first and foremost, we have our STF indicator here, which is our color-coded trend indicator. Uh, but for more experienced customers, we try to move away from this <coughs> and actually use our DPs on our higher time frame charts. The reason we do this is the STF, like any other indicator, is lagging. So we want to have a leading indicator that gives us areas of uh, higher time frame support and resistance in advance. For this, we go to the 15-minute chart. Now here we have our swing pivots. Um, generated on a 15 minute chart here and all we do is go back to the last uh, swing pivot and then go back to important pivots be uh, before that if that's uh, exceeded to then place our DP off that. So before the market even opened yesterday and this is important so before the market even opened before any of this data was even on the chart we had a swing pivot high here. So with a right mouse click place the decision point on. And as you can see, that came up and caught uh, the high of the day there. No, it wasn't quite the high of the day because it just took it out later on, but this high here early on. So let's see what this would have actually looked like on our three minute chart. So now if I go down to my three minute chart, can you see how just after the market opened, it rallied up, it rallied up into this 15 minute resistance. <clears throat> but more importantly, at this 15 minute or higher time frame resistance, we had a three minute DP cell. In other words, this DP cell came in. But can you see how this would have given an earlier signal of uh, a potential trade at higher time frame resistance than our STF? So this would have been a very good trade to take. <clears throat> and it's what I talked about in our webinar, is that when everything comes together for a really obvious uh, trade, then these are the best ones to take. So to place your analysis on, there's our correct position size in keeping our initial risk small under control. The market pretty much went straight down to our first target where a nice 4.5 hour profit was available. For me, this is the best way to trade. When you get obvious trade setups, they tend to make what I call the easiest profits. If you're struggling to uh, try and do your analysis or it doesn't look obvious, well, as I teach, the best way to do is stand aside. So this was an absolute gift for all MT Predictor customers yesterday, particularly as it came in right at that 15 minute resistance. Again, that would have been on your chart in advance, a leading indicator to give you advanced uh, support and resistance areas. So what happened uh, as the market then unfolded the rest of the day? Well, again, we go to our higher time frame chart. As the market was declining down here, we go back to the last swing pivot, which is this one. We place our DP on, and there you go. That gave the area of potential support. Now, we had this on our chart, again, in advance. So this was on our chart before the market even got there. That's the important thing. It's a leading indicator, and we were showing this live in our training webinar yesterday. I'm just going to place the next DP resistance on to show you what happened uh, throughout the day as well. So there's our support zone. I'll just take this one off now because that's not relevant. As the market started to rally up, you'd have then gone back to this pivot, placed a DP on, and there would have been your resistance area. So let's see how this would have uh, looked on our three minute chart. As you can see, the 15 minute support zone caught the very low of the, low of the day there. So that's the beauty of this is you had an area in advance on your chart that nailed the very low of the day. Therefore, the large root trend was up. You're anticipating a rally from this support zone up into this resistance zone. Therefore, these sell setups here you'd have actually avoided. And as you can see, that would have been ideal because the market rallied all the, all the rest of the day. So were there any trade setups that you could have taken to take advantage of this rally? One trade setup that one of our customers uh, mentioned in the webinar, I think it was TJ, was actually saying that because we had major support here. We're looking for an initial rally up, an initial correction down into a potential ABC, or sorry, a, a wave two with a minor ABC correction. You can see this is our wave two or B uh, low here. In other words, our, off this, we're looking for a potential wave three rally. In other words, our holy grail trade set up. It didn't unfold on our three minute chart, but TJ said, go down to the one minute chart and have a look at this. And I actually said this would have been a quite an aggressive trade, <clears throat> but here it was. There it was major support. Our initial rally came up here. We don't worry that's an ABC correction. We just look for the initial rally. We're then looking for the initial correction, which unfolds as an ABC down to here, which is our TS3 buy setup. So if we place our analysis on, then we're looking for this to rally not into our first target, 
but we're looking to rally into our typical way 3 WPT which is this area because this is major support on a higher time frame this is the initial rally into wave 1 this will be the initial correction into wave 2 I said this would be quite a uh, an aggressive trade because going down to the one minute chart like this uh, you can get lots of very uh, minor wiggles but let's see how it unfolded if I scroll along it was very choppy and horrible but a bit later in the day guess what it actually reached that target there so TJ's trade that he actually uh, highlighted to us basically in our trading webinar yesterday would have made a very nice 6R profit so that's another example of a great trade that unfolded yesterday on the Nasdaq index but for me the best trade I think would have actually been this DP sell off the 15 minute resistance I'm just going to put that back up there again there it is just to show you this oops just drag this across sorry there we go and go back to the three minute chart so for me the most obvious trade was this DP sell down to the first target for another for a lovely 4.4 uh, 5 hour profit and this sums up the whole of MT predictor in that we we wait for the best trade setups that come in with our larger degree trend support and resistance zones there were some other ice, uh, nice trades uh, on the Russell index the Russell index uh, we have here if I look at the uh, 15 minute chart you can see that we didn't have any DP resistance but we had a TS4 sell which indicated the large degree trend was down on the 15 minute chart so now if I go down to the 3 minute chart you can see we had a decline down which you'd have basically been avoiding then a, um, a rally up and you had been able to take this TS4 sell the only thing really aggressive traders could have had a look at was this DP buy here. Why? Because if I right mouse click, do Elliott Wave Intermediate, it was the end of a five wave sequence. And also, you can see that this bar here, which was the 1348 bar, if I look at my uh, volume indicator down here, it was actually a VSA bar. So it indicated that the professionals were now uh, looking to reverse this uh, decline and then move the market long, which is exactly what it did. So if you're an experienced empty predictor customer you could have maybe taken uh, this particular trade here because it was the end of a five wave sequence because it was a VSA uh, trade set up as well the two combined would have managed to have a nice little trade you'd probably, might, probably come out quickly uh, with a 2.6 hour profit because it was against the large degree trend but this actually fits in nicely with this being a higher ABC higher time frame ABC correction so the initial decline down in five waves ABC rally up then you had another short trade off that high there so there were some nice profits to be had on the Russell index but as I said earlier for me the most obvious trade setup and the easiest one to capture was on our Nasdaq which was our DP sell there right at 15 minute resistance to me this is uh, sums up exactly what we want to do at MT Predictor where we have our higher time frame support and resistance zones on our chart in advance we just let the market come to us we have a trade set up um, in that large degree trend in this case at that resistance area straight down to the first target 4.5 hour profit this is what MT Predictor trading is all about and that was a lovely trade setup that uh, unfolded yesterday